Hey, there we go. Alright, War Tales, away you go. Alt F4. Ship Graveyard Simulator. I streamed this game a year ago. Maybe more, maybe less. And I was enamored by it, even though it's really not very good. This is absolutely Bangladeshi simulator. You, you go around on your really rather crappy truck. Oh, we're already where I need to be. Anyway, imagine that I drove all the way over here. And you grab these ships that have just been dumped here in this country because nobody wants to set aside their beautiful coastline for tearing them apart. You grab your trusty hammer and you start smashing. Absolutely smashing things up. Now, chat, I leave this as a little exercise for you. You've got a game called Ship Graveyard Simulator. You're given this ship and you've got this hammer. What is your expectation of this game? What do you think you're going to be doing? Don't think hard about it, just tell me what you think you're going to do in this game. No, no, Ship Simulators was really bad. No, Proto, it's not quitting. Hmm. Hammer go bonk. Wreck the ships. Dismantle ships. Break down the ship. Many excellent answers which are wrong. Because bizarrely, this game, which you would think is all about dismantling ships, does not have you dismantle the ships. What it has is it has you going around breaking items on ships. So here we have the ship that we brought on in to dismantle. But all you do is you go through the things that are on the ship and break them. So whatever this rusty old box is, you smash it. And huzzah. Yeah, you get that part, and that's another bit towards the progress, and you pick up the pieces that come in, and you smash this boy holder, and you smash this steel post. But even if you 100% this ship, right, this flooring is still going to be here, the rig is still going to be here, this whole thing here is going to be here, that mast will be here, the shell will be here, the railings will be here. You don't dismantle the goddamn ships in a ship dismantling game. Even so, I played quite a lot of this game. How, how many hours does seems they have logged in this? 12 hours! Half a whole day I spent playing this because even though I was horribly disappointed by the fact that you couldn't actually break the damn ships, I still found it quite cathartic to go bonk, 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 bonk. And it's not just bonking, of course, some things you hacksaw, although I'm not sure if we have anything hacksaw-able on this ship. I just loaded up the save so I could very quickly show this off. And there's some explosive things, and I think art welding style things, but basically, bonk the game. But you don't get to bonk apart the ship, so I was always a bit nyeh about that. But of course, why is that a problem? It's not a problem anymore, because a sequel came out. Graveyard Simulator... Two, well, ship graveyard simulator, and hopefully I can get that up and on the go. Like I said, I don't have any of this set up, so you'll have to trust me that I'm setting it up. Hey, that seems about right. Thank you, Hypnotic Ants Studio. Oh, I should probably also change the title away from War Tales. We're not playing that. Ship Graveyard Simulator 2. Apparently there are already people streaming this to 27 viewers. Okay, great. So, um, I didn't even notice this game coming out. Was it in early access for a while? Possibly. It's an easy way for me to, uh, to miss a game. But yeah, let's check it out. I've already played this game for something like 30 minutes and I went, oh god, okay, right. Hmm, I, need to, I need to structure this game into my life. Let's start a new game, shall we? Merry Boxing Day, eh? perhaps in the colonies, Tarkin. Glad we've got all these Brit Plus viewers coming around from around the world. So once again, Bangladeshi simulator. We live in our little shanty town. Do you want to play the tutorial? I do not. I know how to handle myself in a game like this. 
God, our heavens look filthy and grimy. But yes, real tropico style shanty here. At least we've upgraded from a crummy CRT to an actual laptop here. And we've got grabby hands. I'm not sure if we can sleep in the bed this time. One thing I do know that I want to do, though, is... Okay, that's fine. I disabled night. I actually didn't like the passage of night time when I was playing this earlier. Right. Do we dare do the first steps? Yeah, maybe. I don't think it's really worth my time to do so. Although, do I have any money at all? Where's my money? I've got 75 bucks. We don't need to waste our time with that. Let's go and grab this small unknown ship. Not sure if it's really much of a ship or just part of a ship, but give me that. By the fact that there are only scraps and pieces, you can tell the sea was really mad. All right, take it. Buying a new ship will clear the pl Yeah, that's fine. Give it to me. What is click when you stuck in the pause menu? Click when you stuck. I imagine there are situations in this game where you can just be lodged in the scenery and unable to move. Kind of like in State of Decay 2, they had a click when stuck button. Very convenient. So, we are actually like super Bangladeshi man. We can run, we can jump, we are super sprightly. And we're only going to get more sprightly. Now let's get to work. We already have all the tools because I skipped the tutorial. The tutorial is what I played in my own time, and by the time I'd finished it, I knew I wanted to have a proper run of this game, so that's why I'm doing a new save. So, not really much left of this ship. Uh, is it going to give me tutorials for everything? I hope not. Alright, let's ignore all that. I already know what I'm doing here. Right, so, 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 so. Not much left of this ship. But it's still ours to tear apart. Ignore all the tutorials. All right, I just turned off tutorials. Why are they giving them to me? Right. It's our job to pilfer this. And unlike the previous game where you just destroy things on the ship, in this game you also destroy things on the ship. Get out of here. But the difference is you actually tear apart the ship itself as well. And that's what I'm here for because there's something very cathartic about it. So first off, we should just nab the things inside the ship. We have a carrying capacity of 60 kilos, at least early on. So we're gonna box up all these goodies that we can. We're at 59 kilos now, 60. And then, because we are super Bangladeshi man, way! Just lob it right onto our truck. Did you play Hard Space Shipbreaker? Now that is an excellent parallel. This game is really like Bangladeshi Hard Space Shipbreaker, but you are not constantly told about the merits of communism. Holy smokes, I have seldom seen a game so ruined by a poor choice of where to take it. What do the people playing Hard Space Shipbreaker want? Oh, they want more ships to disassemble. Maybe some modding support to add their own kinds of ships. Yeah, that'd be good. What do they get? The Communist Manifesto. And uh, being forcefully signed up to that in-game bloody union thing. Maybe that's the story that they really wanted to tell with their game. Evidently, because that's where they spent the development. But my god, I, I think that was a huge miss. And I couldn't play any more of the game. Unskippable, horrible cutscenes. Oh no, this company that gives us the, the most inconceivably amazing health insurance imaginable is just so evil. How dare they give us a place to work and make loads of money. And you do make a load of money in that. Oh man, it was an awful, horrible experience. But here I can live the Bangladeshi dream. No union fees to pay here. Jake lived in Sweden too long. Okay, but it's not all just naffing things with our grubby hands here. I'm just grabbing them because you don't want to destroy the ground below it and have them go away. You're an odd one, aren't you? Okay, we're going to grab you next. 
In a situation like this, I imagine it's best to work from the top to the bottom. If I work from the bottom to the top, I'm just going to break everything. So you, here, we're going to... Uh, that looks like a right tool. There we go. We're going to saw you off. Don't. And tonk. And do I pick you up? I don't think I do. I think what I do with you is I phone in the crane. No, apparently not. These look like they'd be so... Ah, I see, I see, I see. You're still attached here. This game certainly still has a lot of things that scream low budget to me. Look at the animation of the... Like, just using the saw, we're, we're snapping back to the start of the animation very unsmoothly. Switching weapons is actually quite laborious. Bomb, Jake. I don't think I actually have any bombs. I could be dead wrong. This guy, no gloves. Probably not using any safety specs either. Ah, there we go. Okay, I thought this was something to crane, but no. We just pick it up with our bare hands. And then... Alley-oop! Holy smokes. I mean, this guy can throw. Throw like the best. Don't even need to see my truck. Just off we go. Impressive. Alright, now while we're up here, let's grab the old tonker and get tonking. He's holding the saw wrong. He's getting the job done, so who are we to criticize? As you get money and materials, you upgrade your tools so that you end up being able to do this a lot faster. For now, though, we make do with our paltry abilities. Bonk! Give me that. Oh, but under this, there's still wee bits holding it together here. He can throw, he can run, he can jump the best athlete in all of Bangladesh. Whoa, okay. See, I like that. Wouldn't, wouldn't get this in Ship Simulator 1. Ship Graveyard Simulator 1. Come on, pick it up. What are you playing at? Maybe you can't pick things up you're standing on. That would make a lot of sense. Okay, he doesn't want to pick that up. But, whoa, look at it go. Very impressive Bangladeshi man. Well, at least I believe we're in Bangladesh. Seems about right. I'm pretty sure Bangladesh is home to the world's biggest ship graveyard. And surely everybody in this community... Ooh, ooh, overshot it. Bangladeshi man doesn't know his own strength. Surely everyone in this community knows where Bangladesh is on the map. We've spent so much time staring at maps together. I think this needs welded or unwelded. <laughs> what a nonchalant way of holding this! Don't know what, if anything, I unblocked or unlocked there, but let's continue slamming away on the ceiling. He's just stealing the work site's lighting. <laughs> yeah, that, that seemed kind of strange to me. Why did we just pick that up? All right, smack, smack, smack. Give it all to me. Nice domino effect there. Oh. Now, unlike Ship Graveyard Simulator 1, I don't know how much there is to this game, but I assume that what we see right now is pretty much what you do for the whole game. Find bits to disassemble, disassemble. And you know what? That is fine by me. I kind of like these monotonous work-style games. 
as long as they're well executed. And from what I see so far, this game is well enough executed. Why is this Bangladeshi boy wonder not playing in the NBA? I don't know, he's probably not tall enough. I imagine they're midgets over there. Tonk, tonk, tonk! Give me all those goods. Yeah, there is this really annoying lag on switching between thingamajiggers. Oh, look at that go! I don't think I could throw a basketball that far, let alone 60 kilos of rusty old iron. That said, I'm actually really quite terrible at throwing. You wouldn't think so seeing my weekly one-shots. I wonder how long until I can already start thinking about upgrades. I can upgrade my carry capacity, I can oh, break that apart. There we go. But you're still attached somewhere. Ah yes, over here. Onto this metal beam. Thunk. And down you go go. Hey, very good. Now give it all to me. Look at that, that is 60 kilos. Uh, no, we didn't get quite get the last part of it, but that's plenty of kilos. And we just push away. <laughs> ah, am I too easily amused? I think not. Weird that I can't pick you up, though. Hmm, some awkward bits around here. It's all right, though. I'm sure we'll get it done. Unfortunately, this game doesn't seem to show you a percentage completed part. When we played Ship Graveyard Simulator 1, there was a a clear indicator of how much you've torn apart of a ship. I'm going to tear apart the whole damn thing. And I don't care how long that takes. Maybe the people who are waiting to get their uh, their one game from the marble, mat, uh, marble races, maybe they care. You know what? A bit of patience goes a long way. <laughs> I can't have just steal the lighting as well. It's no stopping Bangladeshi, man. If it's unattended, he will tend to it. Like a park beyond and possified ride. Use explosives to destroy. Now that's interesting, because I'm pretty sure I don't have explosives. Uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. What in the world was that? I think I pressed a sequence of buttons that I should not have pressed. Anyway. Yeah, I have no charges to place on you. I'll need to purchase some, I guess. Alright, let's try playing a little riskier. Let's hit it from the bottom. Game needs more horror. That's alright, I'm sure someone will happily play some mortuary... <laughs> excuse me, some mortuary assistant for us all to enjoy some horror. Oh yeah, the guy in the crane certainly has an easy job. Oh, sorry, I'm not able to hit the mutant time. So if you're wondering where the streams have been for the past week, I have been rather sick. Hmm, you need to push this part down. Alright, sure thing. Oh, it all comes tumbling down, but that's okay. Bangladeshi man does not see risk, he only sees reward. Whoosh! God, that's amazing. More to be had. How expensive is Mortuary Assistant? I think right now it's going for about 13 pounds. 
I don't recall it being expensive. I shouldn't have done a game of your choice giveaway. I should have just done, I'm giving away Mortuary Assistant. <laughs> you don't need to win marble races. You just have to stream it blindly and you can have it. That would be... That would be gentler on me in a lot of ways. Now, I know Miss Morrigan loves the occulty stuff, but uh, I'm sure she'd like the mortuary assistant. Whoa! Oh, don't mind that. I'll, I'll have that. I'll have it all. Strength of a superhero, and yet the Bangladeshi man chooses shit breaking. Sometimes you don't choose your vocation. Your vocation chooses you. Don't worry, Jake. I bought Mortuary Assistant. I have not seen your stream of it. I'll contact you afterwards for time fitting. Oh, wonderful news, Mord. I am genuinely excited. Are you, uh, you free tonight? <laughs> oh. I don't know, maybe it would be a horrible Christmas to spook yourself. So now, I was spooked silly by that game. I don't know how scared I seemed playing it, but I was spooked senseless. It was very good. I think games do horror so much better than uh, than movies and TV. Because it's interactive. You're there. You know what? I haven't shown it off, so why don't I turn on night? I... I uh, bleh, there we go. I turned off night because I didn't like um, the lack of vision. But Maybe... Some other people want to see it. I wonder if I need to cut through that from here. I wonder if I can cut through that from here. It's not letting me pick up this slab here, unfortunately. And I'm not sure I can get into a position to cut the inner bit. Maybe I need to just detach you. What do you mean used to a lack of vision? Did you not see how immensely well I... How immensely well I was able to detect all those anomalies? Yeah, something is off here. Ah, this is probably it. Possibly. There we go. Bangladeshi man sees, Bangladeshi man takes. <laughs> jump scares say otherwise. That game did jump scares very correctly. Oh, I loved it. Actually, unlocking by hitting it. What did I just detach from? From what? Is there any combat or running away from the monster in Mortuary Assistant? Nope. It's just spookiness. If you can just maintain your uh, your cool, your real life cool. All you have to do is solve some very very simple puzzling. And you're fine. But the game is so unnerving. Holy moly. I 
I've played plenty of horror games. And that one just spooked me big time. <laughs> I, I, I struggle to recommend that game enough. I suppose if there's one big downside it has is that it's gross, right? You're handling dead bodies, they're fairly real... I wouldn't say realistically, but you know, realistically enough for you to suspend your disbelief. And that is gross. Does the truck ever get full? I don't know. I've only played this game for about half an hour, so uh, your guess is as good as mine on that, but I'm going to assume it does. I mean, we can see the boxes piling up on the thing. That super speedy Bangladeshi man run over to it. It's piling up a fair bit, right? Mm, okay. It won't be long until we offload it, though. And then we'll see what we do with all that. This doesn't feel so much like I'm tearing apart a ship. It feels like I'm tearing apart a condo. But that's to be expected. This is the, um, the first ship. Not counting the tutorial ship, because you really shouldn't count that thing. I know I'm picking things up one at a time, and it looks pretty slow. And it is pretty slow. But there are upgrades that you get in this game that'll allow you to pick up more things, pick up things faster. All of your tools, including your two glorious NBA star hands, get upgrades. And when I do my first offloading of our goods, we'll start getting some upgrades, I think. We need the boss from DRG. DRG? Deep Rock Galactic. Not a game I played, I'm afraid. Hmm. I need to get through there. Let. Me. Through. You know, I've actually had nightmares about Mortuary Assistant. Holy so I don't like talking about my dreams, because I know dreams are really, really boring to hear other people talk about, but this one's, uh... This is potent. Not potent. Relevant. Dreamed I was there, in the Mortuary Assistant. Getting chased around by Devil Man. It was very, very scary. He was chasing me, kind of like Nemesis out of uh, Resident Evil. I, like, I played that game two or three months ago and it's still giving me nightmares. That is a good sign of a great horror game. And I don't say that's a negative thing, I think that's a great thing. Was it Chuckles? No, it wasn't Chuckles. It was just a tall, dark, demon monster. But as dreams often go, things started getting a little weird. Two of the Resident Evil tyrants dropped out of the sky and cornered me. And I got absolutely destroyed. And then I woke up and went, wow, that was terrifying. Okay, we've torn apart one big chunk of the ship here. I can take out the flooring as well. Do I go top down? Yeah, I think I will. It's getting dark, though. I'm sure I have a flashlight button. Ah yes, V for flashlight. I feel bad for people that don't dream. Every night I dream. And I think it's great. It's like just being able to live for an additional eight hours a day that you don't otherwise get. If you don't dream, then you're just what you're doing is sitting in stasis. Don't. Looking good. Wouldn't mind some explosives to get through here. Tell you what, nighttime's drawing close, so let's turn on our light. And let's get this stuff dropped off. So, now for a part of the game that's really weird. Like, why is this in the game? I do not know. But all the stuff that we got is just boxes of unprocessed stuff. We don't even really know what. But if we take it here to the sorting place, 
it gets sorted into goods. It's kind of like a Vorion where you have ores, but you also have resources. So we've got 1.3 tons of stuff to sort, but we're only going to sort the excess. We're not going to sort the stuff that's being used for contracts. Contracts give us extra dough. And then, then we get this. What the hell is this? We've got to do this Wallace and Gromit contraption of putting the goods into here? Yeah, okay. Perfect sort combo money bonus. I am at a loss. Yeah, Bangladeshi Factorio. Mm, stuff there, but I can't nab it. I can't steal these lights. Okay, can we get ourselves some upgrades going? This is another thing that's kind of weird. So, you can't just upgrade, you need to get blueprints to upgrade. Alright, fair enough. So we're going to go to the tool shop. I'm just skipping the tutorials, because I've already done the Hello. tutorial. And I'm about to do a lot of hammering, so I will buy the hammer blueprint. And I want my gloves and my crates upgraded as well, if you don't mind. Mm, I don't think the crane matters that much right now. But although you pay for the blueprints, and you have to pay using the money that you get from selling the materials that you scrap from the boat, you then also have to come here and pay more money, as well as goods that we've gotten, to get the upgrades. Well, that's okay. I'll still get my glove upgrade so I can pick up more items and faster. And I would like to upgrade my hammer, but I need... <laughs> the better hammer needs to be made out of... 60 kilos of non-metal goods. Okay, uh, could you upgrade my crate? No, we need... Wow, I need a lot of non-metals. Well, I want these upgrades, but I can't have them. We'll need to get some more items here. Mm, I don't actually know how the contracts work. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Yeah, so in addition to being able to run as fast as our man can, and being able to throw obscene distances, Bangladeshi man is also wielding a hammer that weighs about a tenth of a ton. A typical hammer weighs in at about 20 kilos, I think. Well, a hammer for this. I could be wrong. Actually, the, the, the hammer we have here looks rather slight, maybe between 7 and 10. I don't know, I'm not going to pretend that I know more about smashing uh, ships apart than I do, which I don't. Purely like Minecraft, we should be working from the bottom to the top. That's a five pounder. That's pretty light, isn't it? Wielded axe is heavier than that. I don't do a lot of... Uh, DIY things, but one thing I do do in Scotland is chop wood. Well, I mean, sad story actually, we uh, we no longer have a fireplace. Not an old-fashioned one at least. The council replaced it for a uh, an electric fire. And it's just it's all the same. Then again, I'm not the one that's to live there, so it doesn't bother me. Well, it bothers me a little bit. The council, yeah. We a poor family, you know, Orlov. Oh, right, I guess the council sounds kind of intimidating, right? Uh, the, the regional council. the ones who manage the council housing. Oh, this is good. I'm picking things up twice as fast. I just wish I had more space in my inventory for them. I need non-metals. Is there any non-metal on this metal ship? Yeah, the Scottish Mafia. Let's put it like that. Scottish Mafia came along and uh, took away our fireplace. I missed... Oh, wow. I somehow hit with that. Can I... <laughs> Can I steal this? Yeah, we can just take take someone's step ladder and process it as totally scrap metal. There's nothing but metal here. How am I meant to get non-metals? 
Hmm. This stuff doesn't look like it's made of metal, does it? Alright, let's get to work. Why did we ever stop making copper bottoms? Wood and a layer of copper, that's all you need, right? Okay. Was that stuff non-wood? Uh, wood. Apparently we're at 61 kilos of wood, so let's find out if this stuff is wood by grabbing some whilst keeping that contract open. One room has a wooden floor. Alright, sounds good. Hmm, was that wood? Maybe I need to put it in the, uh, the car for it to register? <laughs> no, it was plastic. Oh, alright. I, I guess I can see that. Alright, sweet. Go to the computer to claim the contract. I don't really know how the contracts work. Guess it's just a reward for smashing apart certain parts of the boat. Where's my little shack? Here's my wee shack. I have been in worse places than this. Alright. I have to think about that for a bit. But there's a lot of space here. Alright, so this guy's paying me $8 for 80 kilos of plastic and a toilet. Bangladeshi dollar must be one strong currency. All right, where's that wooden floor? It's eating my five pounder. Ah, yeah, look at that. Come to me. In Austria, this shack would, oh no, in Australia, that shack would go for 1.4 million. 1.4 million what didgeridoos? Come on, give me the wood. According to this, I need 40 kilos of wood. The dollar he does. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's try not to imagine how much it would cost to have that kind of shack in Vienna. I mean, honestly, it's got a lot of floor space, plenty of ventilation, surrounded by nature, jobs available locally. You are in walking distance from your work. This guy's got it made. I mean, sure, he could be flying around the world, saving Mary Jane and being horrifically affected by kryptonite. But instead, this man chooses to do what he loves. And he loves incorrectly holding angle grinders. Boy, this machine has seen some love. It explains how he's immune to dysentery living there. <laughs> the superpowers. Yeah, well, this guy doesn't need to eat, does he? Just gets the job done. Dong. Break it all apart. Give me the metal. Oh, there's more stuff over there that needs my attention. Having to come back out and lob out the crates constantly is a bit of a chore. Uh, did anybody remember what I needed to upgrade the size of my crates? I feel like it was non-metals, right? So hopefully if I end up with excess wood, I can get that done. Non-metals, excellent. I mean, that makes sense, right? Take wood to make a wooden crate. I wouldn't want these boxes to be any heavier by making them out of a dense material, would I? The thought occurs that the music is probably very quiet. Oh, Christ. This is the game volume maxed out. 
I know my streams are often quiet, and that's because I tend to suppress the volume of games, but this one's actually already 100 percent <laughs> Imagine being the normal guy working at a company, your boss compares your results to Superman. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're self-employed, so that's not a problem. After all, we pay out of our own pocket to order these ships. <laughs> I kind of glossed over it at the start, but we ordered this uh, this ship carcass on. I think it was called Ship Tube. I need to go and claim my reward anyway, so I'm going to rush back to my PC. Actually, maybe I want the aluminium first. Oh my god, they actually spell it correctly. Does any of this ship look like it's specifically made of aluminium? Apparently, I haven't gotten any of it so far, so. Where do we think the aluminium is? I would have thought this stuff's made of aluminium. The stairs, maybe. Maybe. I don't want to get rid of my only way up top. Hmm. I'm going to try one of these walls, see if you're made of aluminium. Step ladder. Now we we already liquidated some step ladders. They were not made of aluminium. Aluminium does not rust brown like that. Oh, interesting. It's probably not you then, right? <laughs> that was not it. Okay. Well, let's see if it is this. Actually, let's first see if I'm able to get up top without it. Hmm. Almost. Come on, we gotta master the art here. Oh, oh, here's a way to master the art. All right, we can just climb up. In that case, let's disassemble this. Bangladeshi Indiana Jones. It was a good addition. Yeah. Seldom is a game made worse by adding rope physics. Oh, come on, Laka. If I had a rope that I could do that with, I'd carry it everywhere, work or not. Although, given that this is my work. In fact, this is actually my work right now. Simulating being a Bangladeshi ship destroyer. I have made some good decisions in life. Come on. Needs to be torn apart a little bit more. Donk! Come to me, come to me, and let's find out where the railing's made of aluminium. <laughs> They were not. Okay. If it's not the stairs, we might be in trouble. I am baffled at this game existing, though. It's just such a strange premise for a game. What developers are out there thinking there's a real niche in the market for being a Bangladeshi shipbreaker? Okay, that was also not aluminium. Hmm. Maybe something behind here is aluminium. Uh, the door might be a problem, but I say, why worry about the door? When what we could do is using our Indiana Jones powers. Hmm, doesn't want to let me all the way up there. Keep banging my knees on that. Oh well, then up we climb. Point is, why go through the door when we can go through our own door? Where was it anyway? I think it was about here ish. Let's get to work.
There are so many games that I wish existed and don't, and if I had the skills, I would make them. Well then, tell us. Tell us your million dollar amazing game idea, so that we can steal it, make all the money, and not even do so much as credit you. You can be the uh, Infiniminer of the world. Was that the name of the game? Proto Minecraft? I think it was called Infiniminer. <laughs> I was at a talk, I think it was a GDC talk. Um, and the guy that made Infiniminer was there. And one of the questions was, you ever, you ever get bitter about Minecraft's success? He didn't say no! Ooh, the million dollar idea is being a UK ship breaker. Not so sure about that one. Either way, Nintendo, hire this man. Yeah, yeah, Zach from Zachtronics. That's right, I was at his talk. I lied about having beaten Space Chem so I could get a little badge off of him. I still have that badge. They were giving out uh, badges for people that had beaten Space Chem. So I said I had. Oh, come on! This <laughs> is in the wrong place! <laughs> I need to be over there, not here. Oh, okay, okay. Do what we did, but do it one step over to the side. Gotcha. Alright, alright, come on. A Yorkshire miner during Thatcher years sim. You get to choose between being a scab, being on the picket line. Ooh, spicy game. The thing is, unless you're from Britain, I don't think you'd really get it. I mean, I'm from Britain and I'm not really from that time. I don't know what's up with this thing here. Maybe it detaches in a different way. Like, you have to take care of this weld part. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. I'm here for the, to get down and get my goodies from below. I'm a Norwegian born in 98, and I have heard about those years. Norwegian, eh? I mean, that's practically Orkney, and that's part of the UK. Norwegians are weird. Really weird people. Alright, alright. Don't... Whoa! Okay. You hope there's some aluminium in here. What uh, do we have here? We've got a bunch of goods, potentially aluminium, that needs to be craned out. I didn't think we'd actually have goods that we have to crane here, but it seems we do. Also, I need to get out of here. Um, well, when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I feel like there's a Dragon Ball Z joke to be made there, but... Uh, can I just... Is that gonna make it? We are so good at our job. Yeah, the, the phrase... If it's lost on you, when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. It's actually a cautionary tale about not getting too blindsided and hyper-focused on one thing. But sometimes it's good to take things literally. And in this case, it's very literal. Let me out of here. Oh no, no, I, I only plan on using that magic stuck button if I am stuck. You know how in uh, State of Decay 2? You got that stuck button, and you could you could easily use it to get yourself out of a grim situation. But no, I only want to use it if I'm genuinely stuck in something. I have to go and do crit family things. Good. <laughs> what do you mean you're not going to spend Christmas watching me tear apart ships? <laughs> what do you mean you want to spend time with your family? 
That's not the deal we had. I had to clean out one of my folders earlier. Uh, one of my computer folders. And in there, I found that image of Bellcat being shot to shreds in RimWorld, and I couldn't bear to delete it. Do I still have it right here, right now? I think it's something like Bellcat's Nine Lives. Hey, there we go! <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it a lot. It's also too big. There we, there we go. Good freaking times. I am amazed that you survived all of that. And that's not even all of the bullets you took. Right. Yeah, I'm not deleting that. Alright, can we squeeze our way out? Yeah, there we go. No vessel can hold me. Now, let's do some craning. Because it's uh, something we haven't done before. We've done the basics. We've hammered things. We've circular saw bladed things. We've even done some uh, melting of beams. But what we have not yet done is use the crane. That changes here and now. Can you take the door intact, Jake, or do you need to blow it up? I don't know. I have not used explosives in this game yet. In fact, by now, uh, we are completely caught up on everything I know to do in the game. All I did was the tutorial ship. And it wasn't even a ship. It was just... Like I said, it was like tearing apart somebody's condo. Surprised all this metal landing on this thing doesn't cause it any ill effect. But it doesn't. <laughs> the way this guy throws his goodies, it's like you're watching those uh, Chinese people are on another level style videos where they're just throwing goods around and they land exactly where they need to be. Any, uh... I feel like we could give this guy a better name than Bangladeshi guy. Anybody know any stereotypical Bangladeshi names? I mean, if I knew he was Scottish, I'd call him something like Hamish McTavick. Alright. Calling in air support. While you're doing that, I'll take care of the rest of this part. Marvin, sure, <laughs> just because I call all of my protagonists Marvin. I'll admit, kind of impressive how uh, swiftly that came away. But I'm very keen to find out if there was aluminium in there, because if there's not, then I truly have no idea where and how to get aluminium on this ship. So that just gets dropped off straight away. Oh, thank God. There were 30 kilos of aluminium there. Uh, if you mine out the floor below one of those trainable doodas, you... I believe you lose the resources. I don't think you want to do that. Hop. I'm going to claim my goods and process everything else and see if I can not get some of those upgrades. Give me my ten dollars. Ten dollars for tons of resources. This seems off, doesn't it? Well, I'm being paid for TV at least. Ah, this shows you how much is on it. It's not too grim, is it? Certainly better than the first steps thing. Alright, glorious. Oh yeah, Nebula. We are super fast. And according to this, I got 1.3 tons of goods to process right now. And process it we shall, even though this minigame is so weird. Come on, Gromit. We can even speed it up. Whee! Ooh. 
<laughs> Whoa, easy now. There we go. And for some reason, if you miss one, you can just resort it. Uh, where's that go? Here? Alright, there we go. Good. I needed those liquids. Alright, upgrade me up, sunshine. Namaste. Namaste yourself. I want better box capacity. I want my hammer to hammer better. Look at that, it's a fairly chunky damage upgrade. Ah. Again with the non-metals. Maybe I can get the blueprints for other things and just have that ready to go. Hello. Oh, he actually said hello. Uh, I will want better hammer, better saw, even better saw, slightly better torch, much better crate, and better gloves. And I'm already out of money. I don't think I care so much about the rope just yet, but uh, if I can afford it, I'll take it. Uh, but I'm completely drained of cash, and I think the main way of getting cash outside of contracts is to come to this guy, who kind of looks out of place, doesn't he? Far too well dressed for this place. Yeah. Yes. Although they are very low in value, I think just selling tons of metal is the right way forward here. Although equipment sells for big dosh, look at that. Yeah, I'll sell a little bit of my equipment. There we go, I need this money to buy new vessels anyway. Shuprabhat, my friend. Yeah, non-metals are in demand. Let's upgrade our saw. That torch needs liquids. Yeah, wow, I can't believe I need so many non-metals. Gloves as well. Yeah, everything needs that. Oh, here we go. Explosives can blow up walls, floors, even electrified ones. Single use. Use them wisely. Fifteen dollars for an explosive. I Caramba. Okay, I'll leave that there for now. Ooh. I'm impressed. I didn't actually think it would give you a visually better item. Now, this certainly still looks like it's seen some love, but... Nice. Borderline impressed. Yeah, we we'll, we paid 10 Bangladeshi dollars for this so-called ship. And this is the smallest, crappiest, non-tutorial ship that there is. They're going to get a lot bigger and a lot more intricate to tear apart. At least I assume so. That was the that was the case of the first game. I imagine they're sticking to that winning formula. Well, I say winning. Who the hell? Who the hell's buying these games? I I know I am, but there's something wrong with me. I might see if I can just collapse you from below, but I think you're connected in too many places for that to work. Yeah, there are electrified boxes on some ships. I'm quite certain there's not one here, though. Oh, I, I don't know where you get off saying such nasty things on Christmas of all days. Okay. Goody goody. Streamer from Sweden. Yeah, boy, howdy, those non metals are in demand. Then I don't think there are any more non metals on this ship. <laughs> Still curious if I can do anything with this door. Not much of an indication that it's something that can be craned away. But it looks like I can crane away the hull itself. 
That's kind of tempting. You tell me I could crane away this whole thing. All right, I'm doing that. I'm absolutely doing that. I'm gonna segregate this whole piece because I bet it's worth a whole lot of materials if I crane it. Craning an item just inherently gets more. And fly! <laughs> fly, you fool! Yeah, it's possible that Dom, uh, Dom 6 sucks. Or it comes out and it's like really badly buggy or something, but... Uh, are we willing to bet on that? I'm not. If only Brelix had won the marble races, Brelix could have asked for Dominion 6. As it happens, nobody asked for Dominion 6. Still though, hoping for a BR to be poor? That's both cruel and redundant. I don't deserve that. <laughs> alright, alright. We've almost got this thing segregated. This game just scratches a really good itch. It's two things. First of all, I feel like a reverse locust, and that's always cool. But it also fulfills an inherent human desire to be productive, or at least to feel productive, when we know that we are not. Ugh, dumb music. It's so good, but it's all copywritten stuff. They licensed that stuff and I could not get the permission to stream it. So, uh, I make anti money whenever I stream Dominions 5. Granted, I could simply not use the music, but I find the music to be a big part of the Dominions experience, so. Just sucks to be me. Alright, it's almost there. Fly! <laughs> get melting. It's starting to sound a little dangerous, right? <laughs> you bought the Dome 4 music on CD? Wow. I mean, it was good. I prefer Dom 5 over Dom 4's music, but I still mix them both together in a playlist and listen to them whenever I'm playing. Hmm. My giant brain is telling me that the optimum way to play this game is actually not to scrap the entire ship and just do the bare minimum I need for the contracts and then move on to another one. But I'm not going to play it like that. Because the motivation for me is that I enjoy tearing apart these ships in the game. Not that I want to power game my way through everything. Hello, what's this? You found a wave statue? I thought this was part of the ship. Huh. Okay. I had heard there were collectibles in this game. I don't know what good they are, but there they are. And it looks like you need to be... Yeah, resisting the urge to optimize away the fun. Which is absolutely something you can do in games. There are some games that once you finish the optimization, there's just no no fun to be had in playing the game anymore, and that's a very, very sad place to be. Actually, uh, an example that immediately comes to mind is Disgaea. The whole game is about optimizing the game away. If 
funnily enough, Factorio another one. That's the whole aim of the game, but once I've once I've got my really good factory, I, I don't want to play anymore. Because it just becomes stamping down yet more of these designs to make yet more science to get yet more mining productivity. Really hoping that the expansion brings new life back into the game. Alright, are you sufficiently ripped apart? No, I still think I need to take care of some of this flooring. And I can do that. I do it faster if I have some non-metals to upgrade my hammer with. No, no, you see, uh, Patrician is different. Patrician has an end point that I'm working towards. Perfection. I said I was turning off the night cycles. I actually don't enjoy the night here. Also don't enjoy the, uh... Consolitis style menus here. There we go. I like to be able to see the natural beauty of Bangladesh. Patrician is bad from the start. Oof. Oof. The truths they hurt to hear. Be nice to me on Christmas if one day of the whole year. Appreciate the game having a day night cycle, but it's not what I'm here for. It's kind of like when you get those city building games that have day night cycle. Turn it on for the screenshot, turn it off at all other moments. Or I think there's that Father Loris line. Oh boy, they're adding a day and night cycle. I hope they're adding my favorite feature in the day and night cycle, which is the option to disable it. You're carrying too much. Is that so? I hope the next ship I get has a lot of non-metals so that I can tear it apart better by upgrading my hammer and box. All right. That looks to me like it's fairly detached. I don't think there's any parts underneath I could, even if I wanted to. Crane Man, what do you have to say? He says, Affirmative Propagator. Excellent. That has got to be a significant amount of metal on that thing. It worries me to think that I could actually crane this whole piece here. Am I really going to destroy all this stuff to get access to it? I think yes. No half measures. 150 kilos of iron. Not bad. Not without bombing the door. We'll see yet if we have to bomb that door. I have a feeling if I took out the support structures from around the door, we might not need to worry about it. Yeah, what do you mean all those genuine Bangladeshi ship breakers don't take a break from their long jobs and tune into my channel? Unreasonable. Unthinkable. Yes, as someone who has picked up 150 kilos of iron... Okay, that must have been a structural support bit of flooring. Uh, yeah, that was definitely more than 150 kilos, but I'm willing to believe this game abstracts plenty of things away. Maybe the crane guy takes his cut. <laughs> or maybe it's all rusted away.
probably make my life easier if I was starting from the other side. Then it would be a lot easier to throw the goods over to the, uh, the truck. But man, there's just so much more of the ship over here. I've already got a good head start on this side. Plus, the sooner I can answer the question of what we do with this door, the better. Right. Tearing this place apart. <laughs> Grab what's loose first. That should always be the priority. We've already worked for the loose materials. Why leave them lying around? There are more support barts to burn through. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> I kind of look forward to there being nothing but that door, untouched and impervious. What, like the cartoon scene where high explosives are deployed and it blows up everything but the safe door? Because I'm seeing that in my head now, too. So we were talking about viewer reduction strats earlier. When we were doing a giveaway, where anyone could just tune in and grab stuff for free, there were 380 people here. But now that we have descended to Bangladeshi Simulator, we have ascended to 420. I have lost my touch. God, this is just almost therapeutic. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, but we're in the mainstream now, okay. For God's sake! <laughs> Fall! This game's great. It's a great game. I've fallen out of favour of faking out to Draken. Everyone expects it. And I've played that game a fair bit. Can I even train it away, maybe? Nah, it doesn't look like a valid uh, train thing. Alright, I guess we're going to have to get explosives. Well, needs must. I hope it's at least worth the $15 I'm spending on the explosive for it. But my uh, my heart of hearts tells me that it is not. Namaste. 15 bucks is so much money for a poor, poor Bangladeshi man to pay. My kids are going hungry just so I can blow up this door for you, you know. Actually, I'm the one going hungry right now. I've barely eaten today. Right. What do you mean you can't place it here? You just told me to place it here. Use explosives. Oh! Oh, okay. I just need to push it over. And it only weighed 20... Well, I just wasted $15. Can't wait to blow something else up. I know I said no half measures, but the hammering's getting really slow and I really want some non-metals to upgrade it with. Maybe I need to find more breakpoints so that I don't need to tear apart everything one bit at a time. Be free, my child. 
But I'd, I'd feel like I'm letting myself down if I don't completely strip this thing. Yeah, you can only have one ship at a time. To get a new ship, you must scrap the old one. Which just is a fancy way of saying this ship will disappear. But you have to pay initially for the ships, so it's actually a nice balance thing. This ship only cost me $10, and it was rather easy to make the $10 back and then some. But some of the later ships cost many thousands of dollars. So you can't just go in there, steal a PC component, and rush out and call it a day. But that's fine by me. Like I'm, I'm not tearing this ship apart because I want every shred of money out of it. I'm tearing it apart because I want the satisfaction. That, and this is pretty fun to do. If we just get the right break point, this whole thing's going to fall down. And surely... Captain India here does not fear it. Don't worry, I know that Bangladesh is not part of India. But how can we be sure? Oh yeah, there we go! Breathe in that fresh air. We are now free. Let's grab it all. Yeah, and you just needed to find the right break point, and it all comes tumbling down. Now that's not a good thing to do if there are valuables above you. You make those valuables collapse, uh, like the, the craneable stack of aluminium that we saw earlier, you're going to lose it, or at least devalue it, I'm not 100% sure. But it's not a good idea. So you can't just find the right break point and enjoy a free salvage. In that sense, I suppose it's quite like a shipbreaker game. You had a similar trade-off to consider there. You could, uh, what what was the term for it? Like a forceful decompression of the ship to quickly scrap it, or carefully take it apart and get more dosh out of it. Oh yeah, could you imagine the heat on this metal out in the baking subcontinental sun? Sounds grim. <laughs> yeah, parts of those walls looked like they were asbestos, right? Don't. She all falls down. I've already broken it, it's free money. Let's not neglect picking it up. And this whole side is almost done now. Give the guy a hard hat. No, those hard hats cost money. Worn a hard hat plenty of times. I used to do a lot of on site work. Not work like this, though. Wasn't jumping up and down with a flame torch. Unfortunately. Ooh, this frame's made of wood. That should be non metal. We've got two tons of stuff in that truck, by the way. We still don't know if there's a limit to how much it can hold. And I don't think we'll be finding out soon. Maybe I should bring this back and see if I've ended up with some non-metals. Because I'd really like to upgrade. Oop. Busy raising chat. Almost missed my turn. There's no way I'm doing auto-sort. Not when it's this easy. Uh, 
Okay, well, that was a lot of metals then. Perfect sword. I don't think that's enough non-metals for any of my upgrades, though. Which is tragic. Uh, make life a little easier. I'm going to position the truck right here. Should be in range of just about anything that I'm hauling. So about that craning. Looks like this is a segment. And if I just take care of a bit more of the flooring... Are there any... Oh! There's still parts... Uh, parts attached here, I see. I see. We'll see if we can take a ride with it as well. Uh, in my very short amount of time playing this game before I streamed it, I did discover a glitch that let you fly, which was pretty cool. I will see if I can re-enable the glitch later on. Come on, come to me. Too heavy, too muscular. <laughs> Alright, what are we looking at then? Out to about this point. So let's hammer down that point and then work from the other side. Come on. Ah, these must be the parts to detach. Okay, good, good. And get behind that. <laughs> Glitch, you say? I thought this was Bangladeshi Superman. Of course he can fly. <laughs> Just a matter of course, of course. Is this more asbestos? This is not metal, that's for sure. I want this. We need non-metals pretty badly. I'm actually tempted to fast track that just to get the hammer upgrade because there's a lot of hammering being done. I think it upgrades our hammer power from 2 to 3.5, so I would certainly remove a lot of hammering. Asbestos hammer? Sounds like a fun time. <laughs> Every impact you make is just this cloud of asbestos smoke. Mm -mm. Oh, is that wood above me? I have definitely been working for the wrong side then, because non-metals are what I need. Yeah, correct me if I'm incorrect, has there not been some kind of um, scandal in the UK regarding asbestos? I was hearing things about schools and offices needing to be shut down and, and re-something or othered. Maybe I'm just assuming that it was asbestos, because that sounds like what you'd have with it. Alright. I really need the non-metals for some of these upgrades, so even though I'm so close to tearing apart the ship, I'm going to grab these. In schools, yes, but it was concrete. What's the problem with concrete? Or is it, was it that Batman movie concrete that's laced with explosives? <laughs> As you can tell, I, I do not follow current events. To some of my Meat Sphere friends' great chagrin as well. Come on, give me the asbestos. I need my asbestos hammer. Actually, this might suffice. Let's go and drop it off, see if we can't get our upgrade, and that should significantly speed up the disassembly process. Please, drop it. Oh man, how in the world was that stuff metal? Okay, okay, well, unless we can find some more wood. 
I could have sworn there was wood on this thing though. It's all metal, metal, metal. Is that stuff up? That looks like wood, right? I don't need a lot. The walls in the bathroom were plastic. Ah, yes, plastic hammer. Well, they just say non-metal. They're not that specific. Then we can. Huh. Gotta hand it to this guy. No fear, he'll stand right under it. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> that counts. Good, good. We don't happen to have any viewers right now with nautical inclinations, do we? I worked with a guy who was ex-Merchant Navy, a very sound individual. I can't remember anyone in chat having brought up life on the sea. Oh, who would have thought someone by the name of Blubbery Abyss? The stuff writes itself. I work in Yacht Repairs. Ooh. Must have some fairly uh, affluent clientele if they are in there for yacht repairs. Couldn't imagine owning a yacht. It feels like one of those things that would own you, like a classical car. Like a classical car you can't drive. Right, I think that's about as good as I can get. Wait, wasn't the floor made of wood here as well? That's pretty wooden to me. Let's get to work. Prize out these old sticks and make a new hammer out of them. Ah, uh, but Hast is coming in with a real experience. I used sea salt once. I feel like getting the hammer upgrade is one of the first upgrades you should get. And we didn't get it. Well, all that changes now. Don't you worry, girly. Unless I'm about to find that this is a very rare kind of metal wood. Like those modded Dwarf Fortress iron trees. There we go. The doorway is also wood. I think what we have here should suffice. Not a lot, but it's something. 105, 155 kilos. my friend. Shuprama yourself. I want my hammer. There we go. Reasonable damage upgrade. Gimme. I could even get the next level upgrade, and it is tempting. I can't afford the gloves upgrade. What about the crate? Yeah, now nah, we're upgrading that hammer big time, doubling its damage output. That's pretty big, actually. That'll have the amount of swings we need for most disassemblies. Nice. Oh, yes! All right. James, we, we have already torn apart this ship something fierce, but let's finish the fight. A new man, like a clug man.
I appreciate the fact that Jake's always going to the correct side of the truck first. I haven't driven in a long time, but some instincts are hard to shake. It even looks like a guy's brandishing his hammer more enthusiastically now. Get those break points, shatter them all apart. This is so much better than Ship Simulator 1. If you missed it, I showed off um, Ship Graveyard Simulator 1 before I started this. And the problem is in Ship Graveyard Simulator 1, you're not destroying the ship, you're just destroying components on the ships. Like you'll destroy its fuse box, you'll destroy this lump of metal on it, you'll destroy a box and a crate and a pallet. You don't touch the hull. The hull is still there. The whole ship is still there. Even if you 100% it. And it's really sad. But here... Oh, this is so much better. Namaste indeed. I was stationed on a minesweeper when I was serving my year of conscription and did a whole bunch of sweeps. For old mines from the war. It's kind of exciting. Conscription, though. You said you were Norwegian, or at least in Norway. I thought they'd taken that out of Sweden. I would assume that Norway would do something similar. But, uh, well, you never know when the Brits are going to get a little antsy about those fishing rights again, huh? Take a page out of the book of Icelandic Cod Wars. Indeed, we have mandatory conscription here, as we have an actual land border with the Russians. Yeah, well, Sweden also has that land border with Finland, and that's pretty much the same. Just proto-Russians. Alright, we have just about swept up everything. I'm keen to see if this actually gets craned away. It does look like a ridiculously sized thing to take away on a crane. Just a few last bits to carve off. Oh, Oasis Parappa. Prove me wrong, kids. Prove me wrong. It's been Russia longer than it's been Finland. And then Russia again, longer than it was Finland again. Actually, I'm not sure if that's true anymore. Hmm. Right. Come on now. Is that the max hammer already? Oh god, no. Look at the little yellow bars next to it on the right. That looks like I've got three out of ten. So I assume things go up to about level ten. Pretty sure it's been part of Sweden longer than Finland or Russia. Ah. Nothing better than a true burn. Ooh, that sounded kind of biblical. Are we about to go places? We are going places! Alright. Can we get a lift? Get off the craneable element. I don't want to! I wonder if we can just like jump onto it at the last moment, maybe after it gets rigged. Let's go, let's go! No. How about that, though? The, there was so much ship there, and now it's just gone. Broken apart. 
It's okay, I, I have a I have a way to fly in this game. I don't need that stinky bit of hull. Exactly, Spurdo. Satisfying. Yep. 800 kilos of low alloy steel. Truth be told, that was uh, more than I was expecting to get out of it. How much do you think that actually weighed? That is pretty thick metal. I'm trying to compare it to the uh, the weights that I have here. Tons. Absolute tons. I don't know, 8 tons? 10 tons? Acronymous guesses 40 metric tons. I can believe it. I guess the lesson we're all learning here. Ships are heavy. Come on, if you drop. Okay. The clever thing is to stop working on the ship and go and grab a new one, but I want the entire thing picked apart. Besides, I just upgraded my hammer. It'll be done in no time. You don't play this kind of game to optimize it, surely? You play it for the joy of living the life that you were robbed by the birth lottery. You got any uh, ship breaking industry over there in Brazil? Surely not. I mean, Brazil is hardly the Bangladesh of South America. It's a little dangerous. I'm clubbing away a lot of points. I might shatter the whole thing. That's part of the fun. I'm not sure. We had to send the aircraft carrier to be destroyed to India and they declined. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's still holding. To the best of my knowledge, Bangladeshi Superman here cannot be killed. They're not making these boats out of kryptonite. I mean, we've had fairly sizable amounts of this boat land on him, and he's still not dead. <laughs> I think he has a weakness to kryptonite, and I go, he's got a weakness to competent <laughs> tech support. Baking heat of the sun, I can only imagine how painful it is grabbing this metal. Still don't understand how this is metal. What kind of metal is this that looks like asbestos? I got a lot of bits to saw away at here. Let's just open her up so I get good access to it all. Painting the metal, I to explain how it looks all like shit. Paint. Whoa! Okay. I think the game might be a bit more thrilling if you could die, actually. <laughs> Hard ship breaker wouldn't be quite as cool as it was if you couldn't, you know, drift off into the gravitational pull of the incinerators and freaking die. Hmm. <laughs> 
but I could I could never positively review that game. Ooh, missed a, missed a spot. Don't want to leave that for some kid to scoop up and make off with my hard-earned earnings. The upgrading the hammer was absolutely the right choice. There's a whole lot of hammering to be done. Although, maybe getting rid of all the places that I can walk on while I'm working is not my greatest idea. But my idea is also that if I just destroy enough supports, I might be able to bring down the ceiling as well. Could be dead wrong about that one. Don't want to be, though. <laughs> Bangladeshi man is the pretender for our Dom 6 water nation. I like the way you're thinking. Wasn't the first game I ran in Dominions? Atlantis? Uh, Dominions 5 at least. No, I think that was second. The first one was uh, middle, a uh, early age Airmore. Very basic, easy to play and learn nation, Airmore, before they get all uh, corpsey. Oh yeah, M.A. Ulm as well. Did quite a few early runs. Hard game to learn, and a very hard game to love. In the end, I did both. I consider myself a competent Dominions player. Not a great one, though. The great ones can handle multiplayer. Boy, I definitely need a stronger crate for carrying all these things, so... The next ship I order, we will definitely make sure it has non-metals. Because this one... Far be it for me to complain about a ship having too much metal. But it's got too much metal. That was good, though. Whatever I destroyed there tore apart pretty much the side of the ship. I can just take care of that roof as well. That'd be great. I think Jake would get utterly curb stomped in MP. Uh, I played one Blitz MP, but I didn't really enjoy it, so I wouldn't be keen on going back to it. Generally speaking, I don't like playing competitive strategy games. I feel like it demands too much of you. I, I just want to have some fun, right? Especially when I'm playing with other people. Which is why, when it comes to multiplayer, I am far more receptive to PvE, player versus enemy rather than PvP, player versus player. I like working together to take down a threat that isn't just another player. Especially since things can get really personal there. I don't mean like calling people names and stuff, that's just banter. But just the feeling of tearing down someone else's work in a competitive game. It feels like walking over to someone that's uh, making themselves a nice like 3D puzzle piece and just kicking it over. I don't, I don't get my kicks out of that. Feels very different from just murking somebody in like a, an online shooter or the like. Although maybe this is all just my sad justification for being bad at these games. Maybe I don't take it at face value. Can I pick you up? Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a great example. We played a fairly large EU4 multiplayer a long time ago with the express goal to prevent the Protestant Reformation. And that was a... Uh, how was it again? We had a coalition of Catholics that took religious ideas, Muslims, 
and Orthodox nations. Uh, okay, there we go. I was a little worried that I was stuck there. Penance on me for tearing apart the floor. I think I'm not too far away from chain reacting the whole ceiling off. It'll make my life a little easier if I have a shortcut here, though. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that. Thanks, that's a blast from the past. See, there we go. 12 kilos of metal just bouncing off our head, and Bangladeshi man, he doesn't care. I think this part needs to be individually taken away, right? Yes, yes it does, and it's almost detached as well, that's good. Let's finish the fight. Just for the record... I don't regret picking the Saint option earlier, but if you'd played this game before Marbles, I might have grinched it. It looks like a great game, yeah, but it's also not a very expensive game. How much does this game even cost? Can we look at the overlay? Yes, we can. <laughs> the people that have friended me waiting for their games. I'll get to it. Uh, where did we find that again? It was on... I think we went to Discussions. Ugh, never go to Steam Discussions. Store page. Twelve quid! Twelve quid for this jinx. It's, uh, it's a bargain, that is. Maybe I should be taking those sponsorships. I was never offered a sponsorship for this game, though. Even though uh, I covered the first game, and they reached out to me about that, they didn't reach out to me about this. Actually, maybe they did, and I took one glance and it said Early Access, and I sent them a disparaging message about Early Access games. Who knows? Also hardly matters. Nobody owes me that kind of stuff. Alright, just a few bits to peel off, and this whole thing is taking crane game. Let's do it. No visor, no gloves, no fear. Such a lovely, deep, pounding noise there. Like a load of tension just immediately being let go. Ah, oh, that's, that's me when I work the knots out of my shoulder. Did I just punch? <laughs> Alright, is that good enough to take away? No. No, it's still attached up top, isn't it? <laughs> we could be using our laser vision. <laughs> we have to keep up appearances. Ooh, can I even get up there now? That could be a problem. My rope isn't that great. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, yeah, this was a thing that was made of wood. Someone told me about it earlier, and I completely ignored them, even though the wood on this might actually have made the difference for getting one of the upgrades. Donk, tonk, thump. Give me that wood. At this point, I should be tearing down my own shanty just to be able to afford wood to do some upgrades with. Ah, this is a problem. You're connected here. S 
still... Th oh, yeah, yeah, there's you here as well. Does that count? No, it's still got some connectors. Maybe that counted. Which in turn would mean this counts somehow. Aha! I see it. Maybe I can thread the needle here. Mm. I definitely need to be topside for that. And lo and behold, I've gotten rid of my ways to get topside. And you really lose upward momentum going that way, and they got rid of my ladder for getting up top. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, ooh, right. Actually, I can use the best of both worlds here. Take this ramp. So I need a bit of speed going in there. Be creative. Be be creative. There we go. Yeah, I never would have gotten this from the underbelly. All right. Our crane game is going to be strong here. Take it away, boss. How do I keep getting it wrong? Damn Bangladeshi surplus vehicles. Not much left of this ship at all, though, I'm happy to say. Even less now. Where you go. No more pieces like that to take away, I think. <laughs> all this metal down here is just free body, so... I'm taking it. How did the crane operator see that it was not removed from the hard point? So well, that's why he's the crane operator, and I'm the guy risking life and limb. Well, not really. We're obviously Superman, but we're keeping up our appearances. like the natural way that things fall over here. Good physics engine. Probably not a great physics engine. I'm sure there are plenty of annoying quirks to it. But good enough is all we really need. Right. Really want to get rid of this entire roof. We just... Yeah, there we go! Oh hell yes. This this place is toast. Oh, that was satisfying. Set it up just right and let her rip. Now that would have been a bad thing if I cared about large items that were underneath, but we'd already taken care of what few large items there were. In fact, I think it was only really one. I saw the inside of one larger class ship than this, so I do know that they have quite a few items, and then you really need to gingerly cut away areas so you can ex extract them with the crane before you just go and blow the whole thing up. Good lord, we've got a lot of stuff in that. Do you think a, a wee... A wee little truck like that could handle three and a half 
tons. Uh, I think by the end of this, it's going to be handling more like four tons. I need the crane to bring this thing back. <laughs> Bangladeshi truck, don't forget. Okay, come on, come on. It's a bit slow gathering all these items, but at least we're doing it two at a time and not one at a time because we've upgraded our gloves. Yeah, the game claims that we're wearing gloves. They must be like Doom Guy's gloves. I was practically as old as I am now when I learned that Doom Guy wears gloves. I really thought he was just using his bare hands. Why did they give him flesh colored gloves? I thought he just had really saggy hand skin. <laughs> to those upgrades already. But that's how upgrades should be. They should feel meaningful, powerful, and earned. We're very literally earning it here. Okay, a few attachments there to take care of. Otherwise, this place looks swept clean. There is going to be nothing left. We nose to tail this whole thing. Again, we didn't need to. In fact, by my calculations, we've done over an hour of it didn't need to on this ship. But we're still benefiting from it. We're still going to get the materials, which can be liquidated down into money. Yeah, box of exactly. We had to. We felt compelled to. Do you not get the rest of the pieces from those connected parts if you lift the rest of the boat now? I'm not even sure if I can lift the rest of the boat now. It says not all connectors are destroyed, but that could just be because of this part. Although I don't know what it claims to be connected to here. Although I'm, I'm willing to bet that, yes, you do lose the, the goods from the bits that I'm snapping off right now. Hmm? Still not saying that it's okay. So maybe you do have to take care of them first. Smash them all apart and see if that allows us to do it. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. There we go. this stage in the game, the extra gloves would really help. Picking up things faster than two at a time. Not to mention the carry capacity bonus, which is a different bonus altogether. Alright, do you see any remaining connections here? I don't. And the game agrees! Let's put an end to this. One quick once over to make sure I'm not missing any pieces. Looks good to me. We did it. We did it, Reddit. I still feel like there could be some work to be done. Taking away 
some of the more spinal parts of this, but I can be satisfied with that. Uh, we have tried Allen Oaks, as best we can tell. Um, Bangladeshi shipbreaking man here is actually just subcontinental Superman. He can even fly. We just haven't seen that yet. Ooh, another ton of low alloy steel. I'll take it. Let's get our goods back and get ourselves a new ship. What, you thought I was going to stop after one? Where do you think you are? Uh, wow, it's a lot to sort. Let's get sorting in the Wallace and Gromit weird machine. Alright, red first. What a bizarre and out of place mini game. <laughs> what is it doing here? Ah, this smacks of German game design. Och no, I do not think our game is fun enough. We need to, we need to add some bing bing wa. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Aren't they Polish? Well, there's something. All right. Now that very much was job well done. Unfortunately, the sheer lack of non-metals was, I think, really impacting my ability to upgrade. Equipment, liquids, and cash for the saw? I'll definitely take that. Torch needs liquids, which I don't have. I really want that crate, but... Are the gloves one kilo off for the gloves? And... Mobile cargo. Hmm. You can drop all the items into a mar uh, mobile cargo and pick it up with a crane. I don't get it. Maybe later. I need a new ship. I think next ship I want... I'll need a bit of extra dosh for. So let's sell some of our metals. They are low in value, but we've got plenty of them, so we can happily sell them in fairly big bulk. There we go. Now we've got a hundred Bangladeshi dollars. That's probably like five Canadian dollars. Alright. Hey, there we go. Checked off. We have done Mad Sea. Although it doesn't show as checked off, I did take care of small steps in the tutorial. Though I guess I did that in a different save. We're not doing this. There's practically nothing there. It's a fraction of the size of Mad Sea. In fact, we can check that. Resources of Mad Sea. Eight tons. Let's see, nine tons. About nine and a half tons. And this thing is about four tons. Yeah. So, do we take the green... Basically, I want anything that has lots of non-metals. And Green Rex has quite a bit. Caroline has quite a lot. Liquids too. Snop Covich? Are these real ships? I feel like they're not. The Slippery Herring, you say? Hmm. Alright, General Kishurki wants us to grab Carolyn. So let's grab Carolyn. You have to scrap the current. There's nothing left of the current one. Okay, well, away, go away goes. Oh, of course, there are the little ramps and things. Yeah, alright, let's grab Carolyn then. And we want that 1.3 tons of non metal goods. Now, little Carolyn is. Uh, I don't know the lyrics of the song. In here, too, I think. Oh, we got some contracts. They want low alloy steel, tables and chairs, iron, wood, coppers, ovens, cardboard boxes, gas tanks. Hmm. 
I think someone already saw this. Yeah. Either that or I can see why it needed scrapping. Alright, how are we going to tackle you, Carolyn? Probably from the top to the bottom. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Well, the obvious thing to do is to steal the light fixtures that have been placed. Yeah, the staff here decided they helped me out, they'd light up what I'm working on. I go, nope, that looks like scrap metal to me. Yoink. <laughs> Alright, measure twice, cut once. Mm. Alright, I think the appropriate thing to do is to save and take care of this when I have another stream of you. I plan on coming back to this game this week, in fact. I was planning on coming to you... what is my calendar stay? Apparently on Wednesday. On Wednesday we're going to have a day of uh, dissolving ships. Starting with Carolyn. But uh, at a glance at the time, it looks like it's already 11pm, so I need to go and make sure that the people who won the marble races can get their games. After all, maybe they got nothing else for Christmas and they want that to have a, a happy 25th. So I shall see to that and I'll have myself some Christmas dinner and get myself to bed and be back on the 27th when streams resume as per normal. Whatever normal is around here. In any case, cheers for joining for today's Christmas stream. I uh, thought I was going to say I hope you enjoyed it, but I don't really care. I had a good time. My wallet's certainly going to get a workout getting those, uh, those games for our glorious winners. And until I am back with more, it's a cheers and a cheerio. No, no. It's so a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.